those stupid people. I can't believe I wasted my entire time on them. It's almost midnight. Why are they so eager to stay up late, huh? Not doing anything productive, not even caring about their future. Just drinking and drinking and drinking until their lungs and brain shrink and break into pieces. Oh. Look who's asleep now. Are you tired or something? Why are you sleeping? I thought you would stay up late, dealing with your own stuff once more. But I guess you changed your mind today. You just seem like you're in such deep slumber that you even didn't notice me coming. Just seeing you all quiet and tired like that. <laughs> kind of feels weird. Oh, maybe, maybe not that. Oh well. I'm not going. I'm not going to wake you up. I did notice that you stayed up quite late yesterday anyways. You must be really exhausted. <laughs> what a pity. You're probably either going to ignore me or scream like a mad cat if I wake you up. <laughs> And then you'll say, No, no, I'm not the cat you are. <laughs> well, if you would be awake, of course. <coughs> you know what? Forget about it. Now that you're asleep, I can tell you that you, that your sleeping posture is absolutely horrible. You look like a mess. Your face is all squished up against the pillow that you're hugging so tightly. You definitely don't look like an angel sleeping like that. You look more like a hillager. A hillager without its mask. <laughs> I can already see you grabbing a pillow to swing it at my face. If you would hear me saying that to you. so amusing that you always try to talk back to me. Maybe sometimes even a bit annoying. Well... You know... You seem to like talking back at me whenever I use my Nemo power to deal with those pathetic worms. I'm just showing them who's the weaker one, but you always end up telling me to speak more gently instead of screaming at them like that. And using foul language, but <laughs> I don't see a problem when I tell them to bow before me. Or even calling them worms. Just expressing my anger in, uh, in a way that doesn't seem to be 
fit in your eyes. You punch them and make them disappear for your materialistic goals anyways. Or am I wrong? Since you are trying to point out my cruel ways of dealing with them often enough. <laughs> but seriously, who even cares? Why do you even care? I can do whatever I want. People just need to face the truth. Not you. You hurt me. I'll spare you. You may act childish at times, but you're actually uh, quite smart. At least smarter than those who can't even acknowledge their faults and mistakes. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going to lie, but seeing you like that amuses me. Believe it or not. And there's one thing I want to... let's say. Confess to you while you're in such deep slumber. After all, you won't know any of it. And by the time you wake up, everything will be forgotten. <sighs> I like your face, you know. I like it when you smile so stupidly whenever you get a taste of your favorite food or drink. Not that face when you're sick or tired, of course. When I talk to you while you're like that, you usually just ignore me. I don't like the face that you make during that time. We've been roommates for a while, and I know exactly when you are feeling that way. You know, you can't hide any emotion from me. You may try to cover it up, but I can see right through your facade. Wait, you're not sick, are you? Let me check on your forehead. Doesn't seem warm, at least. Uh, well, I guess I expected it. You usually behave differently when you're actually sick. <sighs> you know. I don't even really know why I'm telling you all of this. I guess it is easier to do so whenever you're not listening. You can't argue with me. You can't talk back. <sighs> you know... You make me crazy sometimes. Like, not in the good way, but also not bad, I guess. Your behaviors are unpredictable at times. It makes me feel weird. I want 
want to be honest with you, but in the end, I end up lying after all, it seems. Whenever I am face to face with you, I can't seem to be able to completely express all the things that I am feeling. I once wished to change the world and make it a better place. But in the end, all I did uh, was sacrifice myself. Sacrifice the memories they had of me in hopes that it would change things. That forgetting about me make this world better, but it didn't. It was a total failure. And then you were the only one who recalled, brought back all of the memories from when I was sort of considered your enemy, you might say. I mean, I don't hold it against you. You could have just left me alone. You're weird. You're eccentric. You overact. You don't think with your decisions, but yet you still seem to care about me. Why? could have just minded your own business, like how I did today. I guess, as you know, I'm not planning on leaving you alone, but there are some important things that I have to attend to. <laughs> if it wasn't for her, then I could just be here, minding my own business, chilling around, instead of going to that boring academy, and listening to people talking and talking on about Whatever they may have come up that day, writing papers to actually give them evidence and proof on why they're wrong, even joining some sort of whatever cult that is, I don't even remember the name of it, and trust me, that was the most meaningless thing I have ever done. I ever did. Not to even mention all these stupid, pointless academic meetings that followed up. What we did, what we did was just sit in a room, uh, have discussions about things that have no real matter, read each other's papers, have even more discussions, and then nothing. After that, we immediately went to the tavern. A whole waste of my time. Let me ask you something. Why am I always the one to listen to all those rants and vents? All caused by these drunk hearts. Is that because I was once the contestant of Academia Extravaganza, as well as the representative of Fahumana? <laughs> if they know time is valuable, then they should use it wisely, not wasting it like that. Yes, I can understand if they 
might have a few drinks, but why would they just keep doing what they do? Keep drinking one after the other, even if they're barely conscious by then. Aren't they even aware that they are supposed to be some setting some kind of example for other students, other scholars? Hat guy this, hat guy that, nagging and nagging. Their brains are full of unnecessary things that don't pose any actual value. What am I? A nanny? Their counselor? I can't stand their constant whining while they are drunk out of their minds. Don't you agree with me? Hmm? Well, yeah. You're asleep. You can't answer me. Maybe it's for the better. You know what? Maybe you should join the academia too. I know you travel around Tevat, but I don't see why you couldn't. Sometimes I wish I could see you suffer from all the work of these papers and discussions. <laughs> it would be funny to watch you get headaches from all the studying. Yes, I know. Your eyes surely would be big enough to uh, grasp everything. Your brain clever enough to understand it in an instant, but... As a fact... Even you wouldn't be able to handle all of this. You wouldn't be able to filter all the important information. Probably grasp onto worthless details. I have lived for centuries as a mere puppet. I've been an eyewitness to the history of Tevat. According to a dear friend, Lesser Lord Kusanali. At least you are smarter than that white floating companion of yours. And that must account for something, since you're not annoying me to death, at least. But you do manage to annoy me in some sort of way, at least. I always see you having difficult times when it comes to sleep. You never explicitly told me about it, but I can see it. I can see it every day. Why are you trying to fool? Hmm? I can always see through those little lies of yours. You're as easy to read as a book. <laughs> Actually, never mind. At least, by living together with you, I have learned that you are a pretty poor liar. When you are trying to trick me, it's not like I can do some kind of mind reading like the Dendro Archon. But, as I said before, your actions... Usually, tell me everything that I need to know. They tell me when you lie, and they tell me when you're trying to deceive me. So there's no way that you could trick me. But, back to the topic at least. I admit that sometimes I do have nightmares as well, but... At least I am aware that they're only that. 
illusions based on my past memories of things that have happened a long, long time ago. I do see that you struggle with nightmares occasionally, with your exhaustion. I truly hope that sometime you can learn on how to get loose and how to get rid of these illusions and lies that are being told to you in your sleep. It's such a waste of time to spend any thoughts on what could and could have been. As you know, I usually don't need to sleep as I am barely human at all. I guess that means that I could help you sleep Fall asleep if you would like me to. But I know that you're not going to ask for it. And I'm not going to offer on my own terms. <laughs> it's kind of pathetic, I know, but... I wouldn't want you to think wrong things of me thinks that I'm weak, you probably would tell me the complete opposite, but I don't care. There are things that your brain can't accept, and things that my brain won't listen to. But even puppets like me do get exhausted at some point. Better make some space in the bed the next time that you're planning to fall asleep on it without waiting for me. <laughs> this bed is quite small, but whatever. I surely can squeeze onto it somehow. I'm surprised that all this mumbling and ranting didn't wake you up. You really must be pretty tired. But at least it doesn't look like you're having a nightmare at the moment. We should really consider getting a better bed, at least a bigger one. Because sharing this little thing is getting kind of tedious. Here I'm trying my best not to touch you in case that you would think that it's weird or would wake up by that. On the other hand, I barely have any choice, considering how less space there is on here. After all, wouldn't be the first time waking up to you clinging on to me like a monkey does to its mother. <laughs> what a weird reference that is. You probably think I haven't noticed yet. Since I always pretended to be still asleep when you were doing your best to quickly let go of me and get off whenever you awoke and found yourself in that position. I'm not sure if you even know that I know. 
I don't really mind. I just kept pretending to be asleep, to not bring you in any sort of uncomfortable situation. Anyways, I should probably get to sleep as well. <sighs> oh. I almost forgot to tell you. I know you won't hear me, but you'll probably see it in the morning. I brought some snacks from the tavern. This weird coconut charcoal cake. I left them on the table for you, for whenever you wake up. I remember you telling me that you wanted to try them at some point. So... Now's your chance. <laughs> but don't you dare leave anything for me. Cause... I'd rather eat the dirt outside than take a bite of that thing ever again. Now, it really is time for resting, though. I truly hope that you've been asleep this whole time and haven't pulled off the same thing that I did with only pretending. But I think I would have noticed. Now, I hope you keep having good dreams for the rest of the night as well. I'll see you again in the morning. <laughs>